tell you something. Ever since I was a little boy, I've had one dream in mind. And I know that someday maybe it will finally come true. It's a simple wish that everyone has had from time to time. So I know you'll understand me when I share my dream with you. I want to be rich, famous, and powerful. Step on all my enemies and never do a thing. I want to be rich, famous, and powerful. So all I have to do in life is sit around and sing. I don't want to work, struggle, or compromise. When I set a goal, I want to reach it right away. Because paying your dues, that's just for other guys. As for me, I want what I want, and I want it all today. I don't want to audition. I don't want to take class. I want to be discovered while I'm sitting on my ass. I should not have to suffer. I should not have to sweat. I tried that for 10 minutes once, and look, what did I get? I'm still not rich, famous, and powerful. Tom Cruise has got it all, and I can do what he can do. So why is he rich, famous, and powerful? while I'm still stuck here schlepping through my life like all of you. What does it take to be famous and powerful? Katie Holmes, if you're listening, please tell me what to do. What do I have to fake to be famous and powerful? I've done all I can, and now the rest is up to you. I've tried being good. I've tried being nice. I've even tried pretending I was listening once or twice, but the really big stars have made it without it. Was Betty Davis pleasant? No, I seriously doubt it. Still, she was rich. Everyone adored her and the world was at her feet, and she was a bitch. It's obvious that I have gotten nowhere being sweet. Now, I suppose suppose I should be thankful for the blessings that I've got. Nice package, huh? <laughs> Craig here truly worships me, and starving I am not. And I suppose good friends and family and health count for a lot. But I have to admit, all this doesn't mean shit, Sh shit, shit, shit. If I'm not rich, famous, and powerful, oh, come on, don't be so shocked. You know you feel the same as I. If we were rich, famous, and powerful, we could take all those agents and casting directors, tiny apartments and back tax collectors, critics and casting calls, chilly rehearsal halls, people who bore us, and jobs in the chorus, and kiss them all goodbye. Is that too much to ask? 